provision of basic supplies and a decent place to stay would be necessary. Following the G20 summit in Argentina, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan is on an official tour of Latin America. After a stop in Paraguay, he arrived in Venezuela early on Monday. <laughs> Rishi, you're on standby there and you have with you the Minister of Trade and Industry, correct? Yes, I do. Thank you very much, Lisa. Minister of Trade and Industry, Paula gopi Schoon. She is with us this morning and we are going to talk about the Council for Trade and Economic Development, or COTED. Yeah. For people Thank who you. don't know, Minister, what is COTED all about? So, it means the Council for Trade and Economic Development and it's all about pursuing trade, extra-regional more importantly, and the early days, when, and I'm going back to the common market days which predated the CSME, it was about inter-regional trade more than ever. So we continue with inter-regional, but this, the perspective is on extra-regional trade and facilitating that. Uh, it goes, you're talking about economic development as well, Council for Trade and Economic Development. So it's, it speaks to the ramping up of your regional production uh, levels at all, uh, in, all in all member states as, uh, as well. So definitely it's about trade, economic development, ramping up trade, and when we speak to trade, it's trade in goods, trade in services. And of course, all of the other avenues of, uh, of cohesion that are required, legislation, etc., to ensure that we, uh, we ramp up these kinds of activities. Yeah. And you talk about development policies. Policy is very important if you Policy want to. Policy is very this. important, but one, is the, one of the main features for, for us um, in the region with the, uh, the, the common external, the, the CET. Which, is, which had been imposed um, to help Im, uh, improve our production capacity within uh, countries and to guard against the entry of competing, um, competing goods. And um, so that is one of the main things. That's where we go and we say what we can produce, where we want to have the suspension of, CET, of the CET uh, to allow for, um, again, the improvement in production of goods within the region. So what has Trinidad and Tobago been doing in recent time? And the region, how have, been, how have we been working together to ensure that this mandate is, is carried out to the best? Especially when we talk about this CARICOM single market and economy, which we are talking about for the last two days for this meeting. Well, Trinidad and Tobago has always been a driver um, when we speak about the CSME. I mean, you're going back to the days of uh, 1989 in the Grand Arms Declaration, when all member states would have committed to the CSME, this, which is the single economic space. Naturally, Trinidad and Tobago um, in the 80s was forced to look at, um, at, at the manufacturing sector and develop the manufacturing sector. For, for us, it has been a particular advantage with our initial trade. Um, uh, uh, this is after supplying our domestic market, the region. So Trinidad and Tobago has always had an advantageous position in terms of uh, the ability to produce goods to service the region. However, with the, um, th that has uh, the production of goods has pro proliferated in, to some extent the rest of the region. Jamaica is a sound producer of goods as well, and then you have a number of um, of ent entities that are even mushrooming today within the region. So Trinidad and Tobago has always been a strong um, driver of the CSME. It benefits us, but now we look beyond that. We we look we look to, we look at the region as a whole, and um, so going back. After 1989, there's been the recommitment in, 2000, in 2006, 2011 to this advancement of this economic space, this harmonization towards this, this single economic space. And uh, therefore, Trinidad and Tobago is very, very committed, uh, particularly under this, um, this, um, uh, this administration, under um, the stewardship of um, Dr. Rowley, our Prime Minister. And he would have been one of those who would have called for, certainly called for um, uh, this meeting, mm -hmm. which is taking place here now. Yep. And, and how is technology? Technology. So about? again, we, what we want, for, so the CSME speaks to the transfer of skills and goods and services and technology. So we're looking at one ICT space. Not an easy thing to achieve, but if we start now and we commit now, it means that perhaps I think the goal is 2023 when we would have this single space for technology. And um, so that it's a priority sector along with agriculture and also transportation. These are all of the areas that we really need to focus on. But yes, technology. 
So what is taking place now to ensure that we get uh, this up and running by 2023? Because that seems to be very But I think close. what you really have to do, and, and what I've heard in the room, and I mean I'm not um, uh, at liberty to just speak to everything yes. as you would imagine, but what we're looking for, number one, is to achieve the buy-in from labor and the private sector so that there would have been a collaboration with labor and the private sector um, in, uh, in the very first session. Mm -hmm. That's one. And then for pulling out the things that can be achieved. So heads are focusing on, on, on we're guided by the secretariat who's done extensive work and continues to do extensive work on, um, on the CSME, the progress, where, the gaps, where, um, where st states have fallen behind. And there, there's a constant urging by the CSME at this very long document to achieve in very, very various areas, as I said, good services, skills, ICTs, cap the movement of capital, uh, and so on, the right of establishment, contingent rights, and so on. So that there are lots of responsibilities. We're guided by the Secretariat. But the movement here now is towards taking those few things things that we can actually push ahead and of course examining the the process of agreement you know we, we have this 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 thing of functional cooperation and agreement by consensus and uh, so we re and that consensus sometimes holds us back so looking at all of the different modalities for decision making and as i said taking the few things that matter most and pushing those ahead so you, you start small and eventually we get to that not small economics. start prioritizing Prioritize. and uh, again the secretariat has done a good job of that states and uh, and, uh, heads of uh, heads of government and heads of states are actually looking at the ones that are most achievable. And I'll tell you that there are there would be those states that would be ready on particular matters, whereas there are those that would be well, that would lag behind, and especially those that are hit that are affected by natural disasters and so on. Minister, one more question that I have to ask: Do you think the people of the region are ready for the single economy? Well, the people of the region are committed, but as I said, states have different setbacks and. And, um, and again, they're guided by their national perspectives, and the people always have a say, and therefore they do affect how fast we go to a certain extent. But it takes the commitment of states and heads as well, and this is why we're here. All right, thank you very much, Minister of Trade and Industry, Paula Gopi Schoon, for yeah. coming in and chatting with us this morning about the Council for Trade and Economic Development.